This is episode 1944 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and I welcome you back to our series this week, where every day this week, you will explore a different virtue, seven virtues for seven days this week. You will also explore the opposing quality of the virtue. So you will also explore the seven deadly sins. And in this week's series, I have a bad cold. So I hope you will be patient in listening to my voice this week. Patience is one of the virtues you will explore in a few more episodes for today, the virtue you will explore is that of charity and the opposing quality of greed. You will discover as your meditation technique a breathing technique that will help you feel more receptive to give of yourself giving of yourself freely these days can seem a little awkward in fact sometimes it can feel as though when you give something away freely that others can take advantage of you i think that a lot of the virtues are learned culturally within a society i'm thinking about traveling through Asia, where I had the chance to live for five years in Japan. And the culture there is very charitable because it's expected. If you're not charitable, it's considered a terrible quality and you're looked down upon. Most times the customer service there was usually exceptional. Other countries where I've traveled, I've noticed that unless you are connected to some group, then people don't necessarily feel they have to be charitable to you. I remember waiting for a flight to travel back to the United States and I was in the airport with my family and the airplane was overbooked. And so some people weren't going to get on. So even though we had tickets for the flight, we might be bumped off just as anyone else could be bumped off or so we thought. There was another flight leaving in the hour, traveling to another city near our destination that we could easily get on. So when we asked the airline ticketing agent, what our chances were of getting bumped off the flight we had tickets on. And we told her about the other flight, we'd be happy to turn our tickets in and take another flight to another destination, still getting us close to home. And she told us that she was certain we would get on the flight and not to worry about it. So we waited for two hours. Finally, they began making announcements of the people who were not going to make it on the flight and we weren't on the flight that we had purchased tickets for. And later when we asked the rep, what happened? You told us that we would be on this flight. We could have caught another flight home because now there were no more flights out. We would have to stay overnight there and start over the next day. She told us that they take care of their own people first, meaning the nationals of the country. And that was fine. That's the way it was in that country. It was a country with a lot of national pride. But whether you are charitable or greedy, the opposite quality, it matters. It makes a difference, not only to your life, but to others' lives as well. And I think that's why the virtues are so important because they are 
characteristics about each one of us that impacts each of us individually and each other as we interact. So think about how you could make the world a better place and live more fully your life purpose, which is what we explored in last week's series. When you do practice these virtues, and as you settle yourself down to meditate today, reflect on ways you have noticed people be charitable to you and how it made you feel. There have been so many times when I've traveled, when people have been incredibly charitable to us, even when we were not really behaving nicely. We were feeling irritated and sometimes culture shocked, and they still were charitable towards us. And of course, times when people weren't charitable, I think you see the best and worst of humanity when you do travel not even necessarily to another country, even when you travel to the next city or the next neighborhood, there's a different vibe, a different rhythm to life all around you. So notice where you feel most charitable and how you could be more charitable as a way you live your life. Well, what would you have to do to be more charitable on a regular basis? And when you think about the parts of your life where you may feel a little greed, like you deserve this and you don't have to share this and things you may want to hoard, maybe there is a special restaurant or venue that you don't really want others to know about because you don't want other people going there. Think about what you could let go of in your life to feel a sense of charity towards others. And as you sit down to meditate and go about your day, the breathing technique is where you inhale and exhale through your nose. This keeps your breath relaxed. And as you inhale, feel a deep sense of gratitude and charity for others. And hold the pause between the inhale and exhale. Try to drag it out and mentally Affirm, receive, receive. Allow yourself to receive a sense of grace and charity. And as you exhale, release a sense of greed or attachment. Just let it go. So that is your technique for today. If you'd like to be guided through full half-hour meditations, you can find a deeper experience on the Sip and Om meditation app. You can try it for two weeks free. Go now and inhale. Allow a sense of gratitude to fuel you. Hold the pause between the inhale and exhale. Mentally affirming, receive, receive, receive this gratitude. And as you exhale, let go of greed and attachment. Let it go. You are so worth slowing down for.